So today I talk about a P0133 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0133 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit, slow response, bank one, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's oxygen sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which then causes the computer to go into what's called a closed loop, which basically keeps the engine run very well. But when you get a P0133 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor one oxygen sensor. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're gonna have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. So if you Google the number one cylinder on your particular engine, then that's gonna be the bank one side. And that's gonna be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0133 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that bank one sensor one O2 sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But basically, if anything's gone wrong with that sensor, then it's going to cause issues. If you have a four cylinder engine, you're only going to have one bank and it's going to be the first sensor going down on the exhaust. So usually that's fairly straightforward to find. If you have a V6 or V8 engine, then you're going to have two banks and you're going to have O2 sensors on both sides of the engine. Bank one sensor one is going to be the first sensor going down on the bank one side of the engine, and it's going to be located right before the catalytic converter. It's also sometimes called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter and sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. But with this P0133 code, the main one you want to go and test is going to be this bank one sensor one O2 sensor, because the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor just failed and just needs to be replaced. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. And basically, there's any kind of open, a short, there's a bad connection inside of there somewhere. Then this is going to cause issues. It's going to cause problems. You can go and check the wiring and see if you see anything obvious going on. But more than likely, if you do go to check it, you're going to have to get schematics. Since there will be differences between vehicles, year, manufacturers, different things like this. So you will need to get schematics for your particular vehicle. And you can get a multimeter and you can go test it for any kind of open or a short or anything along these lines. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that could cause this is that there's an exhaust leak going on. And basically, if outside air is getting into the exhaust before it reaches those O2 sensors, then that's going to throw them off and cause them to do strange things. So you can go check out your exhaust. Be sure that this doesn't look like there's no leaks going on or anything like this, because the last thing on the list is going to be an exhaust leak. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0133 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.